In this video, I will show you how to use AppScenic for dropshipping. So specifically, I'll show you how to use AppScenic with Shopify, but you can also go ahead and use it with eBay, Wix, WooCommerce, Equit, and a bunch of these other tools. Now I'll leave links down in the description to both AppScenic and Shopify. And for AppScenic, you can get started for free, as you can see right here, and you can cancel anytime. And with Shopify, with the link down in the description, you will get your first three days for free. And after that, you will get your first month for only one dollar so those are some pretty good deals so if you want to get started with either shopify or app scenic or even both you can use the links down in the description now after you click on those links make sure they are opened and you have created your shopify account which will only take a couple of minutes just click sign up and then sign up with google and your store will be created automatically then after you do that go back to app scenic and click on start free trial now here in order to create an account enter your email password and your first and last name so as you can see at the bottom right here if you use the link down in the description you don't even need a credit card to try it for free so enter the details right here and click create free account now you will get to the app scenic dashboard where you can actually get started using app scenic so there is a couple of steps that we are going to take first add our store then select a plan enter shipping details choose the price formula then the wallet details and add your first product so i do recommend to follow these six steps right here at least to get started so that you actually have all the basics covered so go to click get started and now here choose the platform so for me it's shopify and i also do recommend shopify since it's my favorite e-commerce platform and again i'll leave my link down in the description that you can use for a free trial and your first month for one dollar so click connect store right here and if you have a tab open with shopify then it will lead you directly here and you can just click on install and then confirm by clicking install again so now we have added the app scenic app to our shopify store and we have basically connected our store now here you can select a plan and you can start your seven day completely free trial so when you bill monthly the plans range from 24 dollars to 78 dollars per month but when you bill annually you will save 33 percent now when starting out i am just going to use the standard plan because of course you kind of want to try it out and seven days is a pretty good free trial but it may not quite be enough however you can also use the free plan where you have one connected store you can import 500 products you get access to the product catalog but the main problem with this plan is that you cannot get any orders because you cannot process orders you can also not push products to your store and you don't get premium products therefore i don't recommend using the free plan because once you get an order you're still gonna need to upgrade and that will just take you more time because you also need to push all of the products to your store yourself so what i'm going to do is use the standard plan because here you also get the AI text requests and the AI image requests. You do pay a 3% transaction fee so it may even be worth it to actually get the pro plan since you get a 2% transaction fee and you do get access to premium products. Now personally at the moment I use the standard plan but I'm just going to show the pro plan right now because this has all of the features and I want to show all of its features in this video and it's also the most popular one. So click start 7 day free trial on the plan that you want to use. So I'll click yes right here and now if you do choose one of the paid plans it will take you to shopify and on shopify if you have already added your payment method all you need to do is click approve right here and then your subscription will already be started at least after the seven day free trial so next up select your main shipping location so this is the location that most of the orders will come in from now this doesn't need to be where you are located for example if i'm in the netherlands and i want to drop ship to the united states then here i would select the united states so i will just do that now here do you also ship to other countries so you can turn this on for example if i also want to ship to canada then i can turn this on but you can also keep it off if you want because if you don't take this option you will be able to import only products that ship to your main location now it is easiest to just have one market so i'll just do united states and now you can add a default phone number for your orders now here you can choose the price formula. So this is your default pricing formula. So you have a profit margin that you can choose right here. So for example, you can do 30% profit margin. And on top of that, you want a fixed price of two euros. So then you make two euros and 30% of the price. Now, I also do recommend to set use compare at price. So markup on sale price, let's say 100%. 
Now you can include shipping costs to main location in the product price. So then you just have a more expensive product and you can show free shipping. Now, if the product has an RRP and selling price, and RRP is the retail recommended price. So basically what it says right here is that if the selling price that you set it to is more expensive than the retail recommended price, then you can set the selling price equal to the RRP. Now you can turn this on if you want, but I'm just going to keep it off and click next. Now configure how you will pay for your orders. So of course you will need to pay for the actual product to your supplier so that they can actually go and buy it from the supplier and ship it out to your customer. So choose your currency, for example, Euro, then enter your billing infos. So your first and last name company, your VAT number or tax ID. And as you can see, your VAT number is important to ensure correct invoices from suppliers. So it is recommended. Now enter your billing address right there. And now there's one last step, which is to import your first product. Product, and this is the most fun part. So go and click import products right here and now you will get to the actual marketplace of AppScenic. So AppScenic has a bunch of suppliers and you can see that a lot of these actually ship from the US, from the UK, etc. So you can also filter by ships from. So for example, I will select United States since my market is United States. Now you can turn on premium products only if you want. So then you will only see premium products right here. Now, if you are paying for the premium products feature, then it is something that you could check out. Now here you have, for example, an entire desk that the item cost is 448. So you can even sell these really high ticket products, but you can also do some lower cost products such as these rings, for example, but I'm just going to filter by a category. So here you have all categories. Now for this example, I will do something like garden. So here you have home tools and garden. And then from here, I am just going to select patio, lawn and garden. Now I'm going to turn off premium only because then you will have a lot more options. And now you can sort by relevance, highest discount, newest products, etc. I will filter by popularity. So these are the most popular products, which means they are being sold the most. Now this right here could be a pretty cool product since it is actually a problem solving product. So your pond needs more oxygen and then you are selling this machine. So then people with the problem of muddy water, algae growth or fish suffocate can actually purchase your product and you will have a problem solving product, which is exactly what you want. And this seems to be a pretty good product so you can click import now right here and you will see there is a one day average processing time and two to five day free shipping which is quite amazing. So now click import now and now you can choose to automatically push the products to your store. I do recommend this and when pushing products to store also push the product to collections slash categories. Now I'll keep both of those on and now your product has successfully been added to my products. So now if you head over to your Shopify store and then click products. You can see it doesn't show up yet. What we need to do first is go to AppScenic and then click on the account drop down here and go to my products. And now here you will see the actual product. And now what you can do is click on this product and now here you will see the title, description, you will see some of the images. And now what you want to do and what AppScenic is really good for is that you can actually use AI for the description and title. So in order to do this, go to product AI tools right here and then go to description and images. Now here select the product, so for me it's this one. And then click on go AI in the top right. Now click yes. And now they are improving the selected products using AI in the background. So it should say AI processing right here. And when it says finished, you will know that it is done. In the meantime, I want to show you the marketing AI tools right here. So you have advertising and social media, SEO, email automation, and Google shopping. Now in the current plan that I use, you only have SEO. So you can actually do SEO with AI, which is really cool. So you will see the keywords, the title and description are good. Then you have the meta, the link and breadcrumbs and also the tags right here. So you can just improve the SEO of your product using AI. But for now, I want to go back to the product AI tools, then click description and images and just take a look at this product. So you can now see it still shows the default title and description, but now when we click on improve title using AI, they will ask, are you sure you want to run AI improvements on the title? Click yes and do the same for the description. Now here, once it's finished, you can scroll to the bottom and here you will see the new title that has been created with AI. So it still has the product name right here and you can change this so that it doesn't have the product name if you want. But the main thing here that I think is really good is the AI description. So it has made it a lot better to read instead of this right here, it has created this. So it's a huge improvement. So now you can just click accept AI improvements and click yes. 
And now the product title and description are updated. Now if we go back to our account and then go to my products, you can see that now it will say in store. So they are actively synchronizing this product with your store, which basically means it's being added to your store. Now here you can see the item cost and the price for you. And then you can see the profit margin. So on this specific product, I would make 44 euros per sale. Now when I refresh my products page here on Shopify, you will see that now it shows up. And if I go and open this up, you will now see the actual product and the title, the description and even the images right here have all been pushed to my store automatically along with the tags and everything else that is required. So now once you actually get an order on that product in Shopify, what will happen is that here in account and then under orders here, the order will show up and you can see your profit, the payment, the tracking, etc. And what will happen is that AppScenic will do the order fulfillment automatically for you. So basically AppScenic is a great tool because you can use their AI tools to enhance your product pages. They have a huge list of products that you can actually sell. So if you want to add more products, you can always go back to the product catalog right here and just filter by a product, for example, pets. And then you have a huge list of products right here that all ship from countries such as the UK, the US, Canada within like two to seven days, as you can see right here. So this is much better than using AliExpress, for example, because one, it's easier to use, two, the pricing is pretty decent now aliexpress may be a little bit cheaper but on here you know that the suppliers are good and that the products are top notch as well on top of that you can use the product ai and the marketing ai tools which is really good and you have automatic price formulas so that you have a certain percentage that you will earn on each specific sale now here in your dashboard, you can see your total sales, orders, the sales today, orders today, and you can basically kind of see what's going on. You can even see your store statistics right here. So the product connected, the returns, return rate, product sold, etc. So AppScenic will also handle the returns for you, which will be a lot better for you because that will save you some headaches. Now, if you do need some help at these email addresses, whatever it's for, if it's just support, go to support at appscenic.com, etc. And then you can really easily get help. Now here under training and help, you can also use the dropshipping academy. So this is basically a course that you can take from AppScenic. Again, I'll leave a link down in the description that you can use to get a seven day free trial, no credit card required for AppScenic. And we'll also leave a link to Shopify where you can get your first three days for free and after that your first month for only one dollar. Now quickly I'll just preview this online store so that you can kind of see it. So it has imported the price etc. Literally everything you need and now they can actually go ahead and buy it and of course you do want to set up payments but if you don't know how to do that you can just search for a tutorial about everything you need to know inside of Shopify. Now I'm not going to go over everything in this video that Shopify offers because that's not what this video is is about but you have learned now how to use AppScenic for Shopify dropshipping. If this video was helpful please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said I will see you in the next video.